What's up? This is Frank. Let me say, man, my videos <clears throat> are for information purposes only, for educational purposes. Some of the information may be factual. Some of it may not be factual. Some of it is just allegations. So you always want to do your research. Look, a lot of people, man, especially when it comes to this war between Palestine, between Israel, what's going on in Gaza, a lot of people really don't understand why is it that every time Israel tell America to do something, they buy down. Whether America think it's right or wrong, they going to buy down. Whether they do it overtly where people can see it, or they might just do it covertly. But ultimately, they're going to buy down. The reason why people really don't understand it is because they really don't understand who owns and control America. It's not the people. Maybe after you listen to a little bit of this, you will get a better understanding of who controls America, who run America, and who America is in debt to. See, the person that owns America debt, that's who they got to bow down to. Country that knows this. Yes, right. Come on. yes, sir. But they don't have the voice of the poor. Right. Right. What makes it so dangerous for me that's to know it and even say it is because I have the voice and the ear of poor people. And once you know the truth, yes, sir. it's very difficult for you to go back into your sleep. So naturally to say these things, it puts the spokesperson On. at great risk. On. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because America has been built on your backs. Yeah, right, right. And if any truth comes to remove you, that's like somebody creating an earthquake. Yeah. You see a beautiful building, but when the earth under it shakes, the walls come down, yeah. the ceilings come down. So that's why you have never been allowed a leader that could stay with you to speak to the masses of black people. Every time you had a leader that could speak to the masses, he was cut down. And he's cut down because the country is built on the backs of poor, poor white, poor black, poor Jews. Yes. That's right. Come on. Brothers and sisters, in 1922, I'm sorry, in 1912, on December the 22nd, the Central Bank of America was taken over by certain families. Yeah. The Federal Reserve that prints the money is not owned by the government. Right, right, right. Inside the government, betrayal went down. And under the presidency of Woodrow Wilson, who was elected in 1912, yeah. Federal Reserve System was established Come on. in 1913. He came in in 12. Federal Reserve became an act of law in 1913. And in the same year, 1913, IRS was established. Yeah. The FBI was established. And the Anti-Defamation League of B'nai B'rit was established. And it's not an accident that these four entities were set up in the same year. And I'll tell you why. Uh, it ain't no use in you getting frightened. Because I'm doing the talking. So all you can say is, I happen to be there. I'm sorry I went. <laughs> but after 
do you know the truth is on you. Now, all of this is not revelation. You can find this in your libraries. I want you college students to go and study this. Because all your knowledge of economics and finance is worthless if you don't know the root of this thing. Listen. Did you know that at nineteen twelve when Woodrow Wilson was elected, the debt of America was about a billion a billion dollars. When Woodrow Wilson left office in 1920, the debt had risen 800 times what it was when he came into office. How did that happen? Now you say, well, how does this impact on you? In 1995, can you hold on a few more minutes? Look, brothers and sisters, in 1912, Woodrow Wilson was elected. 1913, uh, IRS is established. Why was the Internal Revenue established? Because those who took control of the money knew that they were going to increase the debt of the country. And they had to have a way to recoup the debt. So the revenue was supposed to be a graduated income tax. This is the way it was put before Congress. Which, by the way, a graduated income tax is the second plank in the communist manifesto by Karl Marx. And what, when you hear the Republicans talking about taking back government uh, 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 and giving it back to the people, it's because the government was moving the country on a socialist trend. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. This thing is deep. Yes, sir. Look, Woodrow Wilson comes in and he's going to keep America out of the war. Yeah. The war started in 1914. Is that right? Yeah. Come on. Woodrow Wilson's second term is in 1916. Come on. He's keeping America out of the war. This is the way they talk when it's time to get elected. But the big boys behind the door, they knew that the only way to increase the debt was to somehow get America involved in the war that was raging in 1914. So through the manipulation of an incident with a ship called the Lusitania. Yeah, yeah. Right. America declared war yeah. on Germany. Yeah, yeah. And in 1970, come on. Come on. the American soldiers yeah, yeah. went to war in Europe. Come on. Right. And in order to fight the war, America had to borrow money. Come on, that's right. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. So who do you borrow money from? Come on. From those who print the treasury bonds. Then they put interest on what America borrows. So the poor people are taxed to pay the interest. Oh, that's right. Well, over 1918, Woodrow Wilson leaves office in 1920 and America that 
that was one billion in debt when he came in is now eight billion in debt, eight hundred times. Come on, what it was, and the interest the American people are paying. It was the war to end all wars, and in that war, many of our black brothers were arguing and fighting because they wanted to fight for America, this great country. Not knowing that the whole thing was manipulated by a handful of wicked men. J.P. Morgan, yeah. the Rockefellers, yeah. Come on. Loeb and Kuhn, Come on. and Schiff, yes, and the Warburgs, and the Rothschilds. Yes, These are Anglo-Saxons and Jews, because it don't make no difference when you get to a certain level. We don't see ethnicity, we see money. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? World War One is gone. Follow me. Yes, sir. Now, here we are. Come on. Hitler rises. Uh -oh. Here we go. Hitler's trying to get back what was taken from him. Come on. Come on. And the Kaiser mm. and Germany after World War One. Picture, picture, picture. Hitler starts moving in Europe. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Come on. Right. Where are you going, Hitler? Hitler sees himself as some kind of messiah. Come on. Come on. And guess Come on. who financed him? Yes, See, this is what they don't want to talk about. <laughs> but Warburg and Rothschild, these are Jews. Yeah. And some in America. Financed Hitler. That's dirty, bro. Jews finance him. Finance him. Can travel in Europe at the height of the war. Right. Sleep in fine hotels while Jews are being burned in ovens. That's dirty, bro. I want a real anti-Semite stand up. Don't care about nothing, money, man. is known in certain right. circles. Right. Right. Many young Jews don't know nothing about this. Right. Oh. They're made to see Farrakhan as the enemy. That's right. Farrakhan is not your enemy. Right. Your people are using me to get money from you. Come on. Oh, Expose them all today. Crazy. Yes, sir. They say the FBI was sent up to catch criminals. Come on. Well, that's true. But the FBI is a criminal organization. Farrakhan, how could you say a thing like that? Ah. In stain old Springfield. <laughs> it's the best place to say things like this. In stain old Springfield. The FBI has been a criminal organization. Come on! They don't care nothing about law. They break the law to get at every black leader, or white leader, anybody who can disrupt, destabilize, excite the poor under the name communism, under the name of any kind of thing they can think of, they come after you. Listen good now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the FBI's history. Come on. Where we're concerned. That's right. Well, Dr. Go ahead. Was Mark Clark and Fred Hampton criminals? No, sir. They were members of the Panther Party. 
Was Marcus Garvey a criminal? No, sir. Was Noble Drew Ali a criminal? No, sir. Was W.E.B. Du Bois a criminal? No, sir. Was Paul Robeson a criminal? No, sir. Was Martin Luther King a criminal? No, sir. Well, damn it, how could you Come on. have streets named for Martin Luther King Jr.? Oh. And you hypocrites, line up on the 16th and you take ads out in the paper to celebrate the memory of a man that the FBI bugged this hotel, whacked against him night and day. Tell me I'm lying. Hey, bro, I've been listening to Minister Farrakhan all night. Hey, check this out. I'm going to have the rest of the video coming up after my video. Uh, so if you want to watch that, you can watch it. Thank you for taking time out to watch my video. Have a nice day.